there's one word that has in climbing resulted in actual deaths. And if you're a climber, you're probably using it. Before we get to it, some background. Safety is a huge topic in rock climbing as it should be, and you have a billion videos already out there explaining knots, explaining self-rescue systems, explaining how to use all of this climbing gear in the safest way possible. But they often neglect the most important part of rock climbing safety, communication. It doesn't matter how many backups you have, communication with your friend in any kind of ropes climbing is of course completely essential. Which is why it's hyper important to use the right words. This is the most common set of words used in English to communicate between climbing partners, a contested list with a lot of variants. The ones here are clean, distinctive, and, if urgent, one-syllable words that make communication, even when windy, a lot easier than it is in an actual relationship. You have belay on, belay off, those are pretty obvious. The belayer is ready or not ready to catch the climber. Climbing for when the climber starts climbing, climb on as an acknowledgement from the belayer. Rope, rope below, and rock to indicate hazards. Off rope is used during rappelling, and then you have the three most important commands in rock climbing. Slack, take, and safe. Slack simply means you should let out rope and give your climber more of a leash. This word is used somewhat universally. It's short, and when your climber is yelling for slack, they'll need it quickly. Its natural counterpart is take, and this word is in charge of the most urgent situations in climbing. Take is what climbers yell when there's a dangerous amount of rope between them and their last straw. Maybe the blayer has let out too much slack for some reason, or maybe, more commonly, the climber is about to fall. Falling or tension might also be used, but they're one syllable longer, and in a life-or-death situation, urgency is usually best, so take is the best word to use. But then we come to the next word. Safe. Climbers use safe when they're on top of a route. They've reached or made an anchor, and they don't need the belayer to belay anymore. When hearing safe, it's the belayer's cue to completely take their belay device off the rope and render the rope useless. In case you haven't noticed, safe and take are two pretty similar words. They're both one syllable, they share two of their letters, both vowels are used with the same inflections. Imagine with me how bad it would be if you yelled take in the middle of a route, pumped and desperate and close to falling, and your partner takes you off the rope. Now, in all fairness, this is why you double check with your partner every single time you hear them say they're safe. But people aren't perfect, you might be negligent, or you might mishear your partner a second time. I know of at least one case here in Australia where this specific miscommunication actually resulted in a climber dropping a struggling partner, resulting in a death. All this is the exact reason why I yell a different word on the top of every pitch. Secure. Secure is pronounced in a few ways, but either way it's always distinctive. Yeah, it's not one syllable, but if you're really secure, you won't need a one syllable word. Off belay is also used in the place of safe, but I don't use it myself since I think it can be confused with belay off in certain situations. Just remember, don't say safe. If you're a new belayer, you might also want to check out my video on a common dynamic belaying misconception. Thanks for watching.